Hello and welcome. We are going to do a composite template in Photoshop for your photograph assignments. And what that is, is going to be a large picture above and then five smaller pictures below. And in order to do that on an easy, in an easy way, we make a template in Photoshop. First thing we have to do is if we, we need to get the physical size of um, photographs that we take with the Canon XSI. Now, if we look at any photograph, and this is a picture of Mr. Rotaco with um, some special effects makeup on, and we see the dimensions down here as 4272 by 2848. So that's one individual picture, and that's our starting point. Now, we want to have a border of 100 pixels all the way around the outside. So for the width, we have to add another 100 and another 100 on the sides of 4272, which comes out to 4472. Now for the top and the bottom, this is, uh, this is where it gets a little more complicated. We have 100 at the top, 100 at the bottom, and then we're going to put 50 pixels between the large picture and the smaller pictures. So that's 250 that we have to add. Now we also have to calculate in the height of the smaller image, which I have calculated out to be 542.93 repeating. So that ends up being in total 100, 150, 250 plus the 542 on top of the 2848 down here comes out to 3641. So that'll be the, the height. So let's begin. <laughs> Go into Photoshop and we have to create a new file. We're going to call this Composite template. And since I tested this out already, but I did an error in the height, we'll put in 3641. And we have the resolution at 300, because that's what we do for photographs that go to print. And then the background is going to be transparent. We'll click OK. Now, the real key to this is making sure we get um, all our guides in place, but I'd like it to be a black uh, template. So you're going to create a new layer. We just click this to create a new layer. Name it template. Okay. And we're going to fill this with black. Now if you click here, it'll put black on top. And here you might see the gradient tool here, but we want the paint bucket tool. And we click here and we fill the top layer with black. Now we're going to add the guides in. So we need one at 100 here, and then at the other end we need it at 43.72. Now the easiest way, I'm just going to get the pointing tool here, easiest way is to zoom in on this in order to make sure that we get um, the right number. So 43.72, I'm just going to zoom in, and if I drag a guide here, you'll notice that as I drag the guide, it shows me there's 4370, now I just have to get to 72. And you want to get as precise as possible. And then we're going to go back to the far side, and we're going to go to 100 on this side. So if we go to 100, close, close, close cigar. Oh, that's hard. Here, I'm going to be a little bit more precise to zoom in a touch more. And go to here, just so it makes it easier. There, 100. And we got to go 100 down. I'm just going to zoom in a bit more because that wasn't easy. Go 100 down. The more you zoom in, the easier it is to get it right on. It's also very hard with a touchpad. There we go. At 100. And then at the bottom, we were. Um, 3641, so that'll be 3541 at the bottom. I'll zoom in one more time. 3541, here we go. So 3541. Okay. And then go back, and there's our first outline. Now, the height from here to the bottom of the picture is actually the height of the image. The height of the image was 28, um, 48, so we had 100 for the top of this, which is 29, 48. So again, we'll zoom in, and it'll be around 
around 29, we'll be around here somewhere. So I'll just zoom in there. And 2948, just zoom in a bit more. So scroll down and go 29. Again, very hard to do. Let's zoom in one more time. Twenty-nine. Okay, that's our first one. And then we have to go fifty down from that, which will be twenty-nine forty-eight plus fifty is twenty-nine ninety-eight. Twenty-nine. Go. And now all we have to do is divide up the other images. Now the other images are separated at a width of 814.4. Okay, now there will be a quick way to do this, so don't worry. So if I add 814.4 to the width of this, so that'll be 914.4. Okay, so let's zoom in again. I'll be about there. And so I've got to go across to 914. Let's zoom in a touch. Oops. Zoom in a touch. 14.4. There we go. Now, here's a quick way to do this. Just take it back to zero. That's our first square. Oh, and then we have to do 50 across between each one. So what I'm going to do is, first thing is, I'm going to make a selection within the guides. And you notice it snaps to the guide. Okay. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to fill that one with white. Okay, what this will allow me to do is put in an image every 50. So what I'm going to do is I need to add another guide at the 50 point. And just zoom in here. So we're going to need 50 on to 914, which would be 900, 964.4. Let's zoom in a bit more. 964.4. 964. Ooh, hard. Ooh, I saw it for a second. There we go. 964.4. Now again, let's go back. And I am going to draw another selection. Let me zoom in on this here. It'd be easier if I zoom in. And I'm going to draw a selection in this one on these guys. And you'll see why this makes it different later on. I'm going to make another layer. And I'm just going to fill it with red for now. Red. Red. Okay, so what I'm going to do with these objects is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one. Okay, now there's a magic wand tool. Go like this, and I'm going to copy it, and I am going to paste it. And watch carefully. And now I'm going to paste it. it. Creates a new layer, but that's okay. And I'm just going to move this over here until it's in place. Okay. Now, I can put a guide at the end of that object. Okay. And now I'm going to take this object, select it, I'll go to this one, I think that's here. Use the magic wand tool, copy it, and paste it. I 
just drag it over like this. Puts in place, and again, drag a guide over. Okay. Now, I can copy and put, continuously copy and paste, but now that I have an object, two objects, I'm just going to drag the older one. Hold down the command key and click on the white. Now I can drag this white again, move it over until it's in place, and then drag one of these over. Okay, and then same thing, hold down the command key, click on this one, now drag this one over. Okay, and drag another guide. Okay, and again click on this, drag it over. And bring another guide. It looks like we're off a little bit here. My calculations might have been off. If it is, we'll have to make an adjustment there. Drag a guide, and then hopefully, well maybe that's correct, it looks right, and that would be our last image there. So I am just going to remove these layers and we should have our completed template. So I'm going to remove this, and this, and actually I could do both at the same time. And there is our completed template. So we will be able, be able to put images in here that are exactly the right size and the larger image in this larger circle up here, this larger rectangle here. Uh, the way we're going to do that though is you're actually going to do cutouts of each of these by going like this. And all I'm going to do is hit delete. Oh, actually, sorry that was wrong go back. The cutout for this one is the entire upper piece. Hit delete. And then for these ones down here, it's the smaller ones. Go to cutouts. Delete. 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 Delete and delete. Now all you have to do is, and to get rid of the guides, to get rid of these lines here, if you do command semicolon, it gets rid of the guides. Now all you have to do is drop in your photographs behind this or underneath the template layer, and your photographs will appear with the appropriate borders in between. Okay, and this is how you create your template.